Python 3.11 came out and just by upgrading to it, your code can become between 10 and 60% faster. 여러분 안녕하십니까? Nicolas Inida and today we're going to take a look at five new Python 3.11 features that I am very excited about. Let's first talk about speed. Python 3.11 is up to 10 to 60% faster than Python 3.10 and that is thanks to the faster CPython project. Python, the programming language, is just an idea, a specification of how the syntax look like and what the rules are. CPython is a C program that implements Python. It takes Python code, reads it and sends the instructions to the CPU. Faster C Python is a project where the creator of Python, Guido Van Rossum, along with other developers at Microsoft, are trying to make Python five times faster in the next three to four years. They plan a performance increase of 1.5 times per year, which is what we can already see with version 3.11. If you use things like NumPy or TensorFlow, which is code that is already written in C, you won't see any major speed improvements. But for tools, programs, and web servers that are using pure Python code, this speed up is a game changer. Python 3.11 also has better error messages. They are now more clear, informative, and helpful. This code right here will cause an error. This is how the error looks like in Python 3.10. And this is how it looks like in Python 3.11. Python 3.11 can now not only tell you the line of code that caused the error, but also it can show you where in the line the error came from. And talking about errors, Python 3.11 also comes with something called exception notes. Now you can add more messages to your exceptions, allowing you to provide more context into what went wrong. On this code, we are catching the exception and adding a note that will later show up on the console under our error. I think this feature will be used mostly by libraries and testing frameworks to tell us what went wrong in a better way. I don't really see myself using this directly. On the topic of exceptions, Python 3.11 also has exception groups. When something goes wrong and there is more than one error, we can now use exception group to stack multiple exceptions together, getting an output like this one on the console. You can even create nested exception groups and the console will also display them in a cool nested way. If you want to handle the errors of an exception group, all you have to do is use the new try except star syntax. Here you can see how we have an exception group that raises two type error and two value error. And you can also see how using the accept star syntax, we are able to catch them all. Last but not least, Python 3.11 also comes with a new module called Tomo Leap. Tomo, which stands for Tom's Obvious Minimal Language, is a file format for configuration files that is used almost everywhere and that I'm sure you've seen before. Tomo Leap is a new module of the Python standard library for reading Tomo files. So if you have a config.tomo file like this one, you can just read it using tomolib like this. And if we print that data to the console, we will get something like this. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite Python 3.11 feature. And if you would like me to make more videos about Python, write it down below and I will make it happen. If you want to become a Python developer for absolutely free, click the link below because there you will find a free seven hour Python course that I made specially for you for absolutely free. See you on the next video. Stay healthy, stay awesome, be happy. Kamsamnida, Sananhamnida. See you on the next one. Bye bye.